This is the fight. This is the fight. Gregory Peck coming over the top. Head up. Can we buy spacesuits and do jujitsu in them? I'm in. But as long as it has these little things like an ejaculate from my wrist. Oh yeah. He tried to do an oh, axe kick. Kung Fu, dude, yeah. Do you guys ever bounce? I never bounce. You guys could be a good bouncer. You'd be the door guy. Yeah. You're the one that all the like the pretty girls come oh, up and like, hey, come up there. there. And then occasionally you just have to knock someone out. Stained pillows, hands smell like lead Under my mattress, gun safe as my bed Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. I'm Richard Ryan. Today I'm joined by Tim Kennedy and Matthew Matt. It just looks like this. <laughs> I don't do for a mirror like that on the top of my head. Oh, I know. <laughs> I thought about that. Yeah. yeah. I can't even look up there because I just immediately start thinking about what I want to do in here. Dude, I love this movie. You want to see me cry on any flight ever? Interstellar. <laughs> It's a good flick. You know what's so it funny? Because like Interstellar is a good flick. Matt Damon, I'm like, is this is this, is this the Martian? Is this Interstellar? Yeah. Like, what is when I left Earth? I thought I was prepared to die. Matt Damon right here is the biggest piece of shit. I mean, the absolute betrayal of all things. Selfish, mm -hmm. egotistical, narcissist. You know, Tim Kennedy in a box right here. Or Tim Kennedy in a spacesuit. <laughs> I never really considered the possibility that my planet wasn't the one. He <laughs> has lured everybody here so they can die. So he can escape in their ship. And, and pretty also, much lied to them saying that, hey, this it's feasible for human life to exist here. Down at the surface, and there is a surface. The ammonia gives way to crystalline hydrocarbons and breathable air. Yeah. And then in like, this act, by also killing all of humanity. Mm -hmm. That's a so deep why did you want to watch this again? <laughs> you, I mean, you, you can't have a hero story without a villain. Matt, Matthew McConaughey is not really, really the hero. His daughter is kind of, kind of the hero. Mom, let's be playing here. I don't touch your stuff. Don't let him go, Merv! Make him stay, Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv! That's the part. Right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. We cannot survive here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. He's really trying to finish them off. Which, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, space fight. I get space it now. Fight. Dude, can we buy spacesuits and do jujitsu in them? I'm in. But as long as it has these little things that I can ejaculate from my wrist. Oh, yeah. Have you ever ejaculated from your wrist? Yeah. I've been ejaculated on my wrist. I knew that if I just pressed that button and. Somebody would come. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'll show you. I've been ejaculated on my Here, I'm trying to be fucking family friendly. This isn't even the Valentine's. Like, I don't even know what's happening. Hold his wrist down. <laughs> I do not consent. Hey, fucking coward. Yes. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. I mm. feel like more than trying to like break an appendage, it's all about getting their helmets off, right? Or yeah, messing yeah. with their oxygen. That's that's what I'd I feel, go for. Yeah, that fabric or whatever that material is on their neck seems fairly vulnerable. flexible and vulnerable thin. for sure. The neck is is never the spot that you need to put vulnerable material, but they did. Bad design, NASA. Like you were rocket scientist or something. Yeah. Stupid. Those SpaceX job. suits look pretty cool. Though. I'm Those not are cool. Everything they do, uh, I, I, just... Elon Musk is like, they must go to space, but look cool. Why does <laughs> yeah. Elon have a German accent? I mean, like <laughs> rocket scientists, most oh. of them yeah, yeah. were German. Yes. Listen, if you're not going to go, let your family go. I also think she's stunning. I think she's just beautiful. Jessica Chastain. Yeah. So Jessica Chastain here is not just trying to save her own nephew, her brother, all of humanity. It's up to me. You're going to save everybody. Her dad, unbeknownst to him, in, in some weird timeline ways with wormholes, is out there trying to fight for her. His dad couldn't do it. Dad didn't even try it! Casey Affleck was good in this. Is there a Casey Affleck movie that he's not good? Tussling out in outer space, yeah. another thing I've fantasized about often. Oh, there's really? the, there's the mm -hmm. risk come. Yeah. Stop it! 
Oh, you can headbutt me? How about you just pull your head back, Matthew? That's a man, there's a 50-50 chance you're gonna kill yourself. Pull your head back, you dumbass. Those are the best thoughts I've had in years. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. Cracked my face mask. <laughs> you want to go to space? I want to go to space. Yeah? Space Rangers. You're feeling it, aren't you? The survival instinct. That's what drove me. When I meant hustling, I meant it also in the fighting way. Also in the space way. Is that true? Yes. And that makes me want to follow my heart. Ah, I'm dying. I can't breathe. Come and save me. Cooper? No, I am. I'm you. This The sucks. robots are cool in this. Yeah, the robots are really cool. They're Marines. Yeah. I have a space. Go, 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 go. And away. That's what a Marine is. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, run up that hill. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Off we go. That worked. I don't really get his objective. If humanity is pretty much gone, right, at this point. Humanity is dying. No, uh, no, but when you're in space, like, he's just trying to save no, himself. So she has all of the babies. Over 5,000 fertilized eggs. In That's right. little canisters. With equipment on board, we incubate the first 10. After that, with surrogacy, the growth becomes exponential. That if they find a planet that can be hospitable to humans, yeah. they are going to engineer it. Oh, flashback. This is when I, it starts getting me. Yeah. Right here. Because, like, the sound's building. Hang in there. Come on. And from this all the way, like, the, cl the climax, like, the apogee moment where his daughter saves them and, and he's getting in one of the space rangers to go find her. It's just, like, it gets me in the feels. Yeah. I knew you'd come back. How? Because my dad promised me. So why'd you pick my favorite Whoa. genre? Okay, the big country. It's a big country. This country's as big as the sea, Jim. If you're gonna tell me this is a big country, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. Yes. This is one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 so Which hat you gonna have in that? Well, what do you know? We got a gentleman with us. We got a city folk. So that fella right there, Miss Terrell. Ain't you gonna introduce me to your intended? I wouldn't introduce you to a dog. He was a ship captain in New York and he met that Texan right there. All right, that's enough. Ah. But he wanted to do the proper thing. Frankly, I feared an elopement back there in Baltimore. And meet the dad before he proposed. I owe it to you that I'll have the pleasure and privilege of marrying a very exceptional girl. He's tough as nails. He was dragged when he crossed the equator underneath the bottom of the boat. I was keelhauled the first time I crossed the equator. But his dad was killed in a duel. You know, no one remembers exactly what that last duel was about. And he now doesn't want to be forced to fight anyone for any reason. And he has nothing to prove to anybody. I'm not playing this game on your terms, not with horse. Horses or guns or fists. It is what I wish every single um, man right now aspired to be was this guy. I'm not responsible for what people think. Only for what I am. He goes and rides this horse. They, everybody they throw on the back of this horse to embarrass. And he's like, some of the time, Leach. He's like, I don't have to anything to prove. Like, Mr. McKay said some of the time. Whatever that means. It means some of the time. He's like, no, I don't have anything to prove to you guys. He's when like, was this movie? This is one of the best movies ever. I gotta watch I'm it. Telling Spoiler you. alert <laughs> now, though. No, 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 no. The, totally the, the Tim Kennedy it. Reader Digest so right the there. So the big country, there's two pieces of property that are separated by the Big Muddy. It's a present from the King of Spain to my great-grandfather. I hope you're properly impressed. Yes, ma'am. The Big Muddy is the sole water source for these two ranches. During the dry season, the Hannesses and sometimes even the Terrells depend on Big Muddy for water. These two ranches have been fighting, like the the the, the McCoys and the Hatfields and the Hatfields. Kind of yeah. similar vibes here. The Hannesses are trash. They're a pest, a plague. They live like a pack of wild dogs up in Blanco Canyon. He buys the Big Muddy. I own the Big Muddy now in an intent to try to pacify both families, but in doing so because he's gonna marry that girl, the other ranch owner thinks that he's only gonna give water to, to her, her family. family yeah. And he's like, no, that's not how I roll. And I give you my word, you can have all the water you want. I'm just here to make everybody be better human. Oh man, this is such a great movie. I, I, love, I have to watch it. I love about this movie for us. This is the fight, this is the fight. I don't know why you thought you had to come say goodbye. 
Goodbye that I have in mind will take a little more room than we have in here. <laughs> so that guy called him a coward. He called him a liar. He tried to make him ride the horse. He wouldn't ride the horse, and then everybody left. But Ramon, whatever happens, this is strictly between you and me and the horse, right? He gets on the horse. He breaks the horse. The horse folds his ears back. He's just sitting there all sad. Then he goes like, hey, I'm about to leave town, but do what I'm going to do first. I'm going to beat your ass. Do you hear me, Charles Heston? You might be the number one ranch hand around here, but I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. Welcome to being a real man. I'm from the upstate. So there's going to be a pop quiz after this. Hey, yeah. Matt, what's that movie about Charleston Heston that Tim was talking about? I don't Charles know. Heston, there's, a, there's a fucking horse and a you're ranch. You're not supposed and, like, to like fight. Charlton Heston. <laughs> it's it's the like, big country. Did you ever see anything so big? Total gentleman, I'm going to let you get dressed, put your pants on. Then I'll beat your ass. That's We're going to wait for the sun to come out. Queen up. of Marksbury rules. Dude, I like it. The slow turn. Get that left they hand They are out legit there. in the middle of nowhere. They're in the big country. But it is a big country, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nice right hand. Gregory Peck coming over the top. Head up! Really, how long do they fight? <laughs> they fight for, well, it's only going to be a few minutes in, in, our, in oh, okay. our cut, but clearly this fight happens for like an hour. Got it. <clears throat> when he gets on the, ho the horse, Old Red, it's the same type of thing. He gets thrown, he gets thrown, he gets thrown, he gets thrown, and he just keeps on getting back up. My grandpa, mm -hmm. greatest generation, World War II vet, uh, patriarch of our family, and uh, one of the greatest humans to ever walk the face of this planet. I swear he would make me watch this movie because he wanted me to have that man's character, which as much as I aspire to have, have never had and will never have, but it is all of the characteristics and attributes that I want my son to have. Selflessness, hard work, humility, and he's just this absolute badass. Just look at so I'd be biting right now. That's the difference. Oh, he would have broke his hand for sure right there. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, the top of the forehead. Sorry, bro. Come on. I love like the undertone of that, all yeah. that you just said. I mean, yeah. there's some true meaning in here. Now yeah. I see why you're amped up. I yeah. thought you were just yeah. stoked on two cowboys fighting, yeah. no. but it makes sense. And then it's also a Western, but it's like the greatest Western. So the climax of this movie, the, in that, the Hat Meal, Hatfield McCoy's moment, when the entire ranch, the Colonel, he's riding in to kill everybody at the other ranch to fight over these water rights. There must be a rifle behind every rock in that canyon. We can handle anything they've got. We're going in. Gregory Peck rolls into the middle of it. Somebody coming, Major. Well, look who we have here. And he's just like, Miss Maragana's being held in there. I have reason to think I can bring her out without any violence. You're not going in there, McKay. That's for me to decide. I'm not going to give you give away what happens, but he's straight up going to make The movie's like 70 years it's old. Beautiful. You're not spoiling it's anything. It's timeless. <laughs> No, I, I haven't I, seen I it yet. Both I, haven't, it. I, I really want you to watch yet. it, and then I want you to tell me that it's the best movie ever. Yeah, and if you I, don't, I'm going to come to you in your sleep. <laughs> I'm going to cut your guts open. You're going to die slowly from strangulation from your own intestine. All I can say, McKay, is you take a hell of a long time to say goodbye. Look at this fight. I told you, it just goes on. Every time you reach <laughs> out, I just keep... <laughs> just about finished. If it's all right with you... Oh, there's a love this scene. Uh, a little roadhouse. Yeah. Patrick Swayze. Oh, a stabby thing on the tip of the Zing. boat. Do you Wait, have can one you of those? Yeah. Come on, come on. Favorite, favorite moment in almost television in, in movie history yeah. is when he's talking to the bouncers for the first time. I'm telling you straight. It's my way or the highway. And he's like, I need you to be nice. If you got to throw somebody out, be nice. You're gonna have to fight a guy. I want you to be nice. And the guy's like, well, what if the guy spits in my mom's face? She's like, you're gonna be nice. Okay. She's like, well, when do we not be nice? I'll let you know. And you're like, <laughs> I'm so sad he died of cancer. Uh, yeah, shitty one. Stabby boot. Sorry, we're closed. Well, then what are all these people doing here? Drinking and having a good time. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. He tried to do an oh, axe kick. Oh, kung fu, dude, yeah. Does he know that if you do an axe kick, the sharp end of your boot isn't the thing that's actually <laughs> It's hitting. the heel, yeah. <laughs> nice knee, though. A little weird, it's like to like, the pelvis. Throw my head back when I throw that knee. 
Oh, they're into this. Pretty weak left hook. <laughs> there wasn't backyard brawls to watch on YouTube. There wasn't then. a lot of power in that elbow. <laughs> Do you guys too. ever bounce? I never bounce. You no. never bounce? No. You, got, you got to be a good bouncer. You'd be the door guy. Yeah. You're the one that all the like the pretty girls come oh, up. And like, hey, come hey, up there. Not. And then occasionally you just have to throw. You knock someone out. Yeah, I uh, sure. I would never got that job. No. Yeah, no. Mm. Now, they, they 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 would put me over in like the corners where all the fights started because I'm like short, hairy, and oh, dumb, okay. dumb, dumb looking. <laughs> Patrick Swayze, you're at the front. Hi. Hi. So you're looking for somebody? You. How does your life go into being a bouncer? Because I have a lot of friends that ended up doing that between jobs. I just I guess I was never in that timeline or pipeline to like become a bouncer. Because wisdom, first of all, you had wisdom. Do you ever win a fight? Nobody ever wins a fight. They're this is another guy that doesn't seem to be aging. Yeah. How's it going, Mio? Sam yeah. Elliott? Sam yeah. Elliott? Fucking love him. This is yeah. like 40 years ago. <laughs> Mind your own business, Dad. Let's go! Shit. Do you see him in... Um... 1883? Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, he's great, dude. Well, then, that's all he had to say. I'm gonna get angry about it. He's one of those dudes who just commands your attention on screen. You wanna fight, dickless? I sure ain't gonna show you my dick. His voice. Oh, shit. Damn, that hurts, doesn't it? He could talk about paint drying. I'm like, yeah. No. Tell me more. Well, it's great. Tell me some more, of Sammy. Paint yeah, drying. it's great. Yeah. Dude, look at him doing this fight scene. That's, why, that's oh, why Matt bought a rim truck. What, why is that? Oh yeah, because Sam. <laughs> yeah. A collection of treasures lies between these bumpers. Headbutt. Headbutt. Mm. Headbutt. Bite his nose. Next time I get into a fight, it's all I'm going to think if I stuff something <laughs> against the wall. I'm like, headbutt, tip, headbutt, 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 bite his nose, headbutt, bite his nose, headbutt, bite his nose. Like, right, we're just like, get here, boom, oh, oh my God. headbutt, and I get here, I just like, bite his nose off. I just slowly take his <laughs> nose <laughs> off yeah. with my teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be so fun. Let's do, let's do that. Dude, this guy's got some cool taxidermy, too. I see you found my trophy room, Dalton. The only thing that's missing is your ass. No, he really does. What's this all about, anyway? Your friend Wade? One old man? It's what I call a mercy killing. He might be a conservationist before we throw stones about his <laughs> his, his, his trophy room. Now, you're not mad at me about that, are you? No, no, I'm not throwing stones. Yeah, I'm in don't... admiration. <laughs> oh, nice spear throw. <laughs> that was a pretty terrible stab effort. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, I wouldn't like hit him in the leg. I would just stabbed him in the gut with the broken off wood. Have you ever stabbed a dude with a piece of wood? You, you know, I can't a say dude that with I have. your wood? You've never stabbed a dude with wood? No. I thought it would be fun to fight you, Dolphin, but no, I just don't have the time. Oh. Tear his throat out! Tear his throat out! That hairstyle is back. That guy's? No, oh. Patrick, the Swayze. Swayze. Yeah, that's the Morgan Wallen haircut. They bring it back. It's like, I have like the little half mole, I think, a little bit going on. It's, I need a haircut or some shit. But... Come on, don't turn your back. No! He's gonna shoot you. It's over! Nice! There were three dudes just standing off the side with guns. Just, oh, hey. damn, dude, they're just torturing this dude. Like, that was like a liver shot and like a sh chest shot. Ah! Up his pack right in the gut, dude. Ugh. I like he keeps, he keeps coming up and coming back up. Like, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get there. this one. This is our town, and don't you forget it. Oh, you really have to not like him for him to die by everybody. Who's gonna tell me what the hell happened here? I didn't see nothing. Uh, I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing. Death by birdshot's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. You know? Top, top probably 80 ways I wouldn't want to die. <laughs> like Sharks fire. are my top 10 of yeah. I would want to. You're and just you're gonna... just like, 
under canopy, boom, tear away, ploop into the water, and you're dead. And you came in with a spear and stabbed the alpha and male shark him. through the head, and you were like, this is my, and then you just get eaten. Anything from the cartel playbook. This is getting grim, but don't give a shit. The audio of grizzly bear attacks. You're like, oh god, no, please don't. Or like death by a uh, 100,000 cuts. Dude, the ancient torture methods, those are crazy. Thank you for watching Veterans yeah. React. I was trying to segue in. Is there anything that you want to talk about? Like what you got going on, where people can find you? Because I feel like you're doing so many different things. You got so many organizations running right now. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it, but it's all around kind of the same ideas of spreading all of the things that we believe in, our values. Yeah. You know, whether it's Apogee Strong, where we're doing online young men's mentorship, whether it's our, my physical school, the Apple, uh, Apogee Campus, Sheepdog Response, where we're training people. Like if you really just get down to the core of it, there's while there's lots of different entities doing different things, they're all, they're all doing the same effort, which is like spread the gospel of freedom. That's yeah. it. So like um, that big country, our, our young men mentorship program, like I'd love to see our young men come up to look like Gregory Peck at the end of that movie. Where they're yeah. going out there, they're fighting for, for the little man. They're trying to stand up to do the right thing. You know, that's, uh, that's the point. Yeah. We, need, uh, we need good men again. Well, the best way for people to find out about what you got going on is your social then, right? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll put some links in the description below. Matt, anything you want to pump? Uh, Richard, Ryan, <laughs> Richard Ryan. You know what I'm RichardRyan.com. I don't own that. <laughs> no. I'm you want good. to see where you go with the, yeah. do you want to pump something? Yeah, I heard that. Glad Glad Come on. I mean, this is a black rifle t-shirt if you guys were asking what this lovely, like, lovely car yeah, shirt is. stretchy. Yeah, it is. It so you can see, cool, you know, yes. plus stuff. Rip. Cool. All right. Thanks, yeah. Richard. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> we'll just chill here. Yeah. See you guys next time. Now tell me, Leech. What did we prove? Cut my life Let's into pieces. pieces. This is my last resort. I'd <laughs> be kind of curious to see how you like shape it, like the top. I'm wearing it a lot. Yeah. You know. How, how are you doing the? So the can crown? we react to some fucking videos <laughs> instead of talking, about, talking cowboy about cowboy hats? hats. Just look at his <laughs> underwear. Yeah.